episode number 103 using the Gauss Jordan method to solve a 3 by 3 matrix. Do not attempt to adjust your computers or screens of which you are watching this video. This problem is the same problem we did in video 101. Except video 101, the method to solve was to use algebraic strategies by eliminating various variables and solving for X and then substituting and getting Y then solving for Z. We're going to use the Gauss-Jordan method instead. Here we go. The method is simply to change the uh, system to a matrix. Step one. Then our next goal is to make this entry in the matrix a one then we're going to make these two zeros. Now, each one of these rows represents an equation. Does it matter that this is called equation one and this is equation two and this is equation three? No. You can put equation three on the top. That's what we're going to do. We're going to reverse one and three around. Bam, there you go. So now you have equation three up top, so now we have a one. Now our next goal is to create a zero right here. So we're going to take negative three times row one. We're going to add that to row two to create the zero, and that's going to give us a new row two. At the same time, we're going to take row number one plus row number three, and that's going to give us a new row number three. When you do that, bam, you get this new matrix. 1, 0, 0, 4, negative 10, 6, negative 3, 15, and 3. You can double check the answers by pressing pause and working out these, each of these entries off to the side. Real quick, just to show you, negative 3 times 1 is negative 3, plus 3 is 0. Negative 3 times 4 is negative 12, plus 2 is negative 10. Negative 3 times negative 3 is positive 9, plus 6 is uh oh, what do we do here? Oh, 15, yes. Negative 3 times 1 is negative 3 plus 6 is 3. Okay, that's how that all works. Now, our next goal is to make this position here a positive 1 and not a negative 10. So our priorities are to get 1s and then zeros. Now we're going to get a 1 and then these two as zeros. Let's make the 1 here by multiplying row number 2 by a negative 1 tenth or dividing row number two by negative 10. Here's what you're gonna get, bam! You're gonna get a zero, a one, a negative three halves, and a negative three tenths, there you go. Now, we got the one, now we want the zeros. So now we're gonna do negative four times row two plus row number one, bam, that's gonna get you the zero you want right there. Then you just do the rest of the other two, you're all set. Negative six times row two plus row three. That's gonna zero this out and we're obviously gonna change the other answers. Now we're almost there. We're almost there, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to now make the 12 become a one by dividing everything in here by 12 or in other words, multiplying row number three by one twelfth. Bam! Look at this, Z equals two fifths, which is the correct answer because we already did this problem before in video number 101. Now, we're going to multiply row number three by three halves. We're going to add it to row number two to give us a new row number two. Then we're going to do negative three times row three plus row number one right there. That's going to get you the zero we want. So we're going to zero these two numbers out and look what you get. A one, a three tenths, and a two fifths. Therefore, the answer for X is, bam, one, Y is three tenths, Z is two fifths. Double check again one more time. There it is. And of course, this is the answer we got in video 101. This is the Gauss-Jordan method. All right. If you have any questions, please send me an email. And of course, good times.